When you live under dictatorship, it is a very simple thing. It's black and white. You have to survive. You need to be alive and not to be imprisoned or killed. So it's very straightforward. You know that dictator is in power and you need to get rid of dictator. And besides, we have to understand that there is no luxury for us to be apolitical. There is no time because it's 23 years of dictators, of dictatorship. And we have to do that art and we believe it matters. Before Belarus Free Theatre, there were many other acts of resistance because we are only 12 years old, uh, but dictatorship is 23. So, um, so many things been tried before that. The only thing that you could start to do is to write a play and nobody could prohibit you because it's your play. We produce, educate and campaign. We perform underground on a weekly basis. In order to get to our show, uh, you need to find a phone number of a person uh, who will tell you a meeting point. Then you get to a meeting point, and from a meeting point, you are taken to a place where we perform. Obviously, there are consequences for us and for our audience. We call our audience the bravest audience in the world. We feel it's not enough to entertain people. We don't believe in theater as an entertainment tool. We feel that every single show has to be connected to a very specific campaign. We want to say whatever we think, whenever, wherever, to whom we want by means of theater. We have to find strings in ourselves to be free. And that is so exhausting. It's much more easier to stay in comfort zones and pretend that everything is fine. We are not okay jointly in the world if we only think about our own fears and pains there is no way for us to survive. I think this is the only hope where I have. It is simply must to get together, even though it sounds so trivial, and stand up. Artists live there, politicians there, journalists there. It's time to talk. <laughs>